Hello guys, I'm Habibi Brothers. Hello. But today we're gonna watch 10 American foods that baffle foreigners. Let's go, man. Baffle us. What are corn dogs? Food. Cheap sausages dipped in butter and deep fried. You know, American. American food is sometimes made fun of by foreigners. To be honest, in some cases, we can't really blame them. So on that <laughs> note, here are what? 10 American I love, foods. Man. I love their food, man. I don't like the sugar, but the, uh, the for variety. Health, for health purposes. Yeah, but it's, the it's variety. Delicious, it's though. crazy. Yeah. Looks delicious. All options. That baffle foreigners. Yeah, it's a disgusting American food. Chicken and waffles. TJ, thank God you're here. <laughs> oh, how'd you find me? It's the only <laughs> chicken and waffle place in the world. Sure. Okay. This is Beverly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hating on chicken and waffles is practically a crime. A mix of crispy, sweet, and salty all rolled into one delicious dish? What's not to love about that? From coast to coast <laughs> and for generations. The salt and sugar. Yeah. We have to try it. Yeah, you have to try it. Yeah. To, to generations, chicken and waffles have been a southern comfort staple beloved by Americans for ages, and we wouldn't trade it for anything. However, I when. Even had waffles before so i don't know what's the texture what's the don't know anything yeah. someone from outside of the u.s tries or even hears about the chicken waffle combination they just don't seem to understand <laughs> the hype to an outsider pairing crispy fried chicken with a waffle along with some melted butter slathered in syrup and gravy is simply not the way to go gravy! i don't want it I want it if you don't want it. Many foreigners have reported finding the combo weird, unappetizing, and downright repulsive, comparing it to mixing tuna and chocolate. Most say they like a good piece of chicken and fancy a waffle, but can't fathom why anyone would want to put the two together. Obviously, we're not going to let these opinions affect our love for chicken and waffles <laughs> because, go. well, it's just too darn good to stop eating. You can have this mouth-watering, delectable dish for any meal of the day, and it will satisfy all your cravings at once every single time right. Hershey's chocolate we didn't get the whole chocolate Hershey's. but we got a Hershey's kiss I'll take it. this one shouldn't come as much of a surprise because as much as we love our Hershey's chocolate bars there are so many other quality fine chocolates around the world that we have yet to experience comparing our generic <sighs> brand to one of these would simply be unfair especially since most okay, of us good. haven't even tried half of the world's chocolate nevertheless it doesn't change the fact that foreigners do not seem to appreciate Hershey's chocolate indeed most foreigners wow. have claimed that Hershey's chocolate bars taste like <clears throat> vomit Oh, not the most appetizing description, that's for sure. It's disgusting. Yes, it is, but disgusting in a really great way. The reason why someone might pick up the unpleasant taste is that Hershey's uses butyric acid in its chocolate, which is what? also found in, well, vomit. Oh, and in Parmesan cheese. It does. <laughs> it does <laughs> taste like vomit. <laughs> no way. Well, because of the acid, the chocolate has a little tanginess, which foreigners say gives the chocolate a very unpleasant taste. But even beyond that very graphic description of taste, foreigners in general just say Hershey's chocolate is bad quality and is nothing compared to what they deem real chocolate. Whatever others think, Hershey's chocolate bars are here to stay. Sure, it might not be the highest of quality, but who cares? We love it. We love it! We love it! We love it! <laughs> Corn dogs. Three corn dogs for 99 cents. Who could possibly eat three corn dogs and have a dollar? Corn dogs are another concept no foreigner seems to be able to support or even comprehend. Corn dogs have been the star of our amusement parks, carnivals, and ba three for one dollar. That's cheap. Oh, wow. Baseball games for what seems like forever and have always been a delicious treat that can be enjoyed at any given time. A hot dog covered in cornmeal batter and deep fried to perfection is already pretty yes. cool, but put it on a stick and you have got yourself one genius and convenient invention. But just no. because we feel like corn dogs are genius doesn't mean other people think the same way. In fact, most wow. foreigners are a bit freaked out by corn dogs. Ah! Do we relax? No, Brian, you keep that thing away from me. How could a hot dog be on a stick and still be edible is a question that is frequently asked by foreigners seeing the junk food classic for the first time. The answer it's is pretty straightforward. Spongy. You need to try yeah. one to see what the fuss is it's about. Like yes, it's junk food, and eating junk food is not high on the list for some, but no one me. should ever feel shame when eating a corn dog. It's more than just fried dough on a stick, it's no, an American order. icon. You simply can't walk past a corn dog stand without getting the 
urge to get one, whether it's because of a craving or nostalgia. Any reason is good enough to indulge in a corn dog. Before calling it disgusting, everyone should at least give one a try. It's delicious. Sweet potato it. casserole. Holy casserole! What's the one classic dish that somehow always winds up on many Americans' Thanksgiving tables? That's right, a sweet potato casserole, the ultimate mix. <laughs> La marshmallow. Peanuts? Casserole! What's the one classic dish that somehow always winds up on many ah, Americans Thanksgiving pecans. tables? Walnuts. That's pecans. right, a sweet potato ah, casserole, pecans. the ultimate mix of fluffy candy and a starchy root vegetable. From an outside perspective, once okay. again, we can kind of understand that Looks sweet potato cool, casserole might seem a little kooky. But in its defense, this dish has been a tradition for decades, and we've grown <laughs> quite fond of the marshmallow slash potato mix. The first ever recipe for this casserole was featured in an early 19th 1900s cookbook commissioned by Angelus Marshmallows, one of the first candy companies to sell sweets at reasonable prices. It was originally an effort to get Americans to use marshmallows in their everyday cooking. And let's just say, once we got a taste of it, we were immediately oh, hooked. Uh -huh. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? Foreigners, however, can't seem to fully wrap their heads around the concept of pairing marshmallow and potatoes together. We've been called many names for eating sweet potato casserole in the first place, but we don't care. We're nice going to keep it. preparing this iconic dish every Thanksgiving to keep the tradition alive. We'll eat it alongside our cranberry sauce because that's just how we roll. That's how we roll in our house, baby. Pop-Tarts. Yeah. Who wants Pop-Tarts? Pop-Tarts. What's something you quickly grab from the pantry oh, when you're in a rush in the morning but don't want to skip breakfast? No. A good old packet of Pop-Tarts, the greatest, most sugary breakfast you could ever most have, sugary. but also one of the <gasps> tastiest. Coming in a variety of oh, flavors, no. Pop-Tarts are always there to provide nostalgic childhood memories and comfort us in bad what times. The fuck? However, so these sugar. nostalgic Jam feelings inside. are, unfortunately, not equally oh, no. shared by everyone. Maybe it's because of the sugar overload of the pastries in the morning, or... This is a great damage for me. You will be fat in be a week. week. <laughs> yeah, fatter. Mine is slow metabolism. 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 Yeah, I can't do nothing to you. You are... You are uh, Fast. It's not start, like me. It's not affect me with age, man. <sighs> Maybe it's the even sweeter filling with a supposed weird consistency, but whatever it is, foreigners do not want to jump on the Pop Tart bandwagon at it's cool, all. Though. You don't want to eat it? This little silver wrapper does not bring as much joy to them as That's it does right. to us. Yeah. Instead, it brings up health concerns That's and the cool. urge to throw them away. We guess it's fair. <laughs> it's not everyone who enjoys a sugary breakfast, but we sure as heck do. Plus, Pop-Tarts are so beloved. Even when junk food Ed. sales started to decline, <laughs> Pop-Tart sales were still soaring. Perhaps they just haven't found the right flavor yet. Brown sugar and cinnamon oh, should lead them in the right direction. Now yeah. I'm finally on the right path. Root that beer. Isn't good. A root beer fixes everything. Americans hold soda, soda in very Soft high pizza. regard. It might not be the best thing for our health, but a nice cold glass of sparkling sugar once in a while is always appreciated. Root beer in particular is a true gem of American. We can we can drink this root beer. Soda. Hell culture yeah. and also one of the most you always ask this man i keep forgetting yeah. <laughs> you see beer is yes, it's yeah. alcoholic Hell yeah. hated sodas by foreigners but how can you love coca-cola yet hate root beer with a passion it's all about the ingredients it's made with while some greatly appreciate the taste of licorice and wintergreen mixed together others find it weirdly seen, reminiscent of i've seen a lot of videos talking about dr pepper yeah. Tell you it's the best. Cough syrup, and with good reason. You see, root beer was originally made from sassafras, which is often used in medicines in many other countries. Mm. And, well, it's fair to say that people in general don't find the taste of medicine to be a very appealing one. If yeah. you've ever been forced to swallow spoonfuls of cough syrup as a kid, you'll understand where this root beer hatred comes from. It was cough syrup.
Even though root beer is no longer made with real sassafras due to health concerns, there is still a sassafras-like flavoring from a saffron-free extract, which gives off the same sickly taste to those not oh, used no. root beer. Oh, and foreigners also have a lot to say about the amount of ice we put in our soda, but to be honest, there's nothing better than an ice-cold glass of root beer on a hot summer day. Root beer is super water. Grits. Ooh, grits. Some grits. I think grits I have been a one. sacred staple on every southern table for ages and are one of the classic American dishes that shouldn't be messed with. While they were born in the South, grits have been able to win the hearts of almost everyone across the country. However, foreigners don't see grits in the same way. Made from white corn, the texture of grits oh, has been compared cool. to a lot of inedible things such as tiny rocks and what even the? wallpaper paste by foreigners. Now, don't say what that to any those? avid grits fan. Those can be fighting words. <laughs> That's it! You're asking for a whooping. While it's true that if you don't cook your grits properly, you might end up with a pretty rocky consistency since the corn is still hard. But if you know what you're doing and you pair them with the right seasoning, you simply can't go wrong. And when they're infused with me. cheese, yeah. it's like heaven on earth. So next time you come across a foreigner who like claims this. to hate grits, just make sure they try That's the funny. right kind and give them something yeah. to change their minds. This is actually really good. Sliced bread. We are going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Sometimes you don't know what you're missing until you try it. And apparently, <laughs> we've been missing out on real bread our entire lives. They hate sliced bread. What is sliced it's, bread? At least that's according to most foreigners who try our sliced bread this for the so first good. time. For an American, the best thing since sliced bread is, well, sliced bread. But for someone who grew up on genuine baguettes and buns their whole life, it's a travesty. If you walk it's in. It's not the same. It's not the same bread. Not the, the same the, texture. Not the same ingredients. No way. Any American grocery store, you will find the bakery section filled with dozens of different kinds Place of bread baguettes. already sliced yeah. and packaged for the perfect quick and easy sandwich or to pop in the toaster. It's basically an ingenious invention designed to save some time, all the while enjoying a versatile snack. Time is money, Looks Jesus. Better. The concept of sliced bread just doesn't seem to really stick with foreigners claiming we don't know what real this bread is. is. Words like yeah. bland, boring, and even too sweet have often been used to describe how other people See Too our beloved sandwich maker. And while sliced bread isn't exactly the most flavorful option out there, <coughs> it can still hold its own in certain situations. Just add some deli meats and a bunch of veggies along with a slice of cheese, and you have got yourself wow, a sandwich of a meat. lifetime. Plus, all Damn, those fancy meat. loaves Bread, and baguettes yeah. require the extra step of slicing. <laughs> and frankly, who has the time for that? Ain't nobody got time for this. Peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, look at little Laura Ingalls eating that <coughs> peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter? Speaking of things that go great with sliced bread, peanut Never. butter is another... My we showed it once, was no, insane. It, it was not. The same, not the same it's quality. Not. Oh, I checked. I double checked. It's not pe peanut butter. Oh, come on. It was uh, almond, not almond. Walnut. Walnut, not peanuts. Nope. Never tried it. It was good, though. That was, yeah, that one was good. It was on sale, yeah. Like, they cut off like, 50, like more than 50%. Yeah, so we bought, we bought one jar. It was, ex but it's the word, like it's finished. Expi expired. Uh, Expiring. Close to expire. Yeah, 10 days or 5 days. Yeah. For American classic that doesn't sit right with a lot of foreigners. Honestly, how can anyone hate peanut butter? Aside from those who are allergic, of course. It can be eaten in a sandwich with apple slices. Heck, it can even make celery acceptable. Apple. Spread generously on a piece of toast in the morning or enjoyed mm. shamelessly by the spoonful. Peanut butter is the <laughs> ultimate morning Shameless. starter. So why is the what love is? for the spread not shared by the rest of the world? Well, mostly because they don't think it actually makes anything taste better or that it even tastes good on its own for that matter our wow. food is often criticized as being too salty too sweet i'm sure this host talking about french for sure <laughs> what french people <laughs> they don't like them yeah most of them are french i'm sure of it man man they hate uh, they, oh, they no. love their own uh, stuff mm, maybe yeah, yeah or even too mushy and in the case of peanut butter it's a combination of all three and that's why we go crazy for the stuff it's wet oil in your mouth and then the driest food known to man <laughs> all at the same time 
It's salty British, and British. sweet at the same time and brings a nice it's smoothness salty to whatever you put it on. More than 90% of American homes keep a jar of peanut butter in the pantry and about three pounds is eaten per person every year. Go outside of North America and you are guaranteed to have a much harder time getting your hands on a jar. <laughs> France, Italy, Sweden, and Japan are some examples of places where peanut butter is not welcome. A little piece of advice. France. If you're a you peanut said, butter I nut know. and you're traveling abroad, it I might be a good idea to stick a jar or two in your suitcase. You know, just in case. Babe, did you pack the sriracha peanut butter? Two bottles. How about Dave's potato noodles? It's all in there. American cheese. I will buy you some cheese. Low fat cheese. Low fat cheese. Low fat American cheese. Yet another sandwich <laughs> favorite that won't receive the stamp of approval from anyone Ooh. outside of the US is American cheese. For this particular item, however, we can kind of see where the dislike is oh coming from. Let's just say our bright neon orange cheese yeah. is exactly the most natural kind of cheese out there. After all, it is illegal to even label it as real cheese, but still, we love it. Our it's grilled illegal. cheese and tomato soup lunches not would cheese. not be the same without- It's potato. No, no. Ours is potato. Uh, ours. Sandwich. This is like, they start with cheese, but they transform it so much chemically, it's, Oof. it's not. It's bad. No, they add, like the... Preserves? To reserve it? No, that's okay. For no. flavor? No, no. Like the process to make it like that. Just to make it shiny? Uh, shiny, like melty? shiny, melty. Oh, the right. questionable yet familiar color of melted American cheese. While we may like to slap a slice on just about anything, especially burgers, most foreigners will agree the stuff tastes like plastic. It's pretty understandable, really, since it contains so many additives. Oh well, maybe it's oh. an acquired taste, or maybe they simply forgot to take the wrapper off. Of course, wow. you can't <laughs> talk about American cheese without mentioning the one and only Cheese Whiz. Can I get some cheese whiz or hollandaise? No. To be fair, even here, cheese whiz does not have the biggest vote of confidence either. According to foreigners whiz. and some Americans, cheese whiz not only tastes like plastic, but also comes with potential health issues. That's not going oh, to make you want to dip your crackers in it. Even though every country has its own cheese making traditions and specialties, we cheese. can't really claim that American cheese slices are the best of the best. It looks like we still have some work to do. Is in Yes. cheese department we, we have to fix it stay for seconds and tap or click another great video hit that great subscribe. video man. Okay, video yeah ah. did, she did baffle us i think the, the last one should be banned banned it's unhealthy yeah. uh, the whiz yeah it's crazy yeah if you start burning in america it's been, yeah, it's been everything. <laughs> it's been everything. <laughs> a lot of lobbying I mean, for sure yeah oh, the ads the ads the poor people yeah the ads is good which one do you like the most? Or you want to try the most? Try the most. The pe peanut butter. Uh, for me, it's Pop Tarts. By far. Pop Tarts? Yeah. Looks oh. cool. Honestly, those sandwiches full of uh, meat. Yeah, for sure. That's, oh, that that wasn't pop. in the video, man. This is a good one. Okay, guys, we really enjoyed this video. Yeah, we Make did. sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one. See ya.